So we're talking about flow networks and maximum flow. Now, two sort of really classic examples of this is water flowing through a series of pipes or cars driving on a series of roads. Let's look at uh, two diagrams of how that might look, first of all. All right, so here is my first flow diagram. Now, these are pipes, okay? So water enters the pipe and it flows, and then the pipe gets larger and more water could fit in that pipe. And then the pipe gets slightly smaller, but still larger than that one. And then the pipe gets very, very skinny here. Now, uh, let's think about how much water can get from this side to this side. Now, let's say that water can flow through this pipe at a rate of uh, 25 uh, litres per minute. Now, this pipe, I'll put M -M -M -I -M -N, 25 litres per minute. Now, this pipe is much, much larger, so water could flow through that pipe much, much faster if we could allow it. Uh, let's say 70 litres per minute. Uh, now, this pipe is smaller than that one, but larger than that one. So maybe like 55 litres per minute. And then this pipe is the smallest of all, and water could only flow through that at, say, 10 litres per minute. Okay, now, what happens across this series of four pipes is that a person or a bucket, let's say, waiting for the water to come out. Now that bucket isn't going to fill at 70 litres per minute. It's not going to fill at 25 plus 70 plus 55 plus 10. Because this pipe is what we call a bottleneck. It can only get through here as fast as the smallest pipe allows. So that means that this bucket is going to fill at a rate of 10 litres per minute. Okay, so across a, um, a series of pipes, we'll start talking about networks in a minute, across a series of pipes, water can only flow uh, across the smallest pipe. Uh, you could all, you've also sort of um, experienced this before when it comes to roads. So imagine driving along a four-lane highway, all driving in this direction, loads of cars driving really fast along here, and then those four lanes merge into two lanes things are going to slow down a little bit, and then those two lanes merge into one lane. Now, across this whole network, only the amount of cars that can travel along this one lane road are going to pop out here at the next town. Um, this does it. we can't sort of add up the number of cars, it's just how many cars can pass by that spot. It's the minimum um, edge, we'll talk about networks, that allows us to deal with that. So let's actually look at a network. All right, this is a flow network. Uh, it is a directed weighted graph, right? And each of these edges represents one of those pipes or one of those roads. So this pipe allows 300 liters per minute of water to go through it or 300 cars per hour. This pipe is a larger pipe. It allows 600 liters per minute or 600 cars per hour. Now, in a flow network, there's always two things, a source and a sink. The source is the vertex where all of the um, pipes are leading away from it, right? So this one, you can see, is the source. You can think of it as the place where all the water is coming from. Um, now, there's also something called a sink. That's where all the water is leading to. And you can see this is the sink. It's the sink because no, the, no edge is moving away from it. All edges are moving towards it. Now, the big goal here is to work out what's called the maximum flow of this network. In other words, how much water can get from A to E. And in order to do that, we're going to work through one of these uh, interconnected pipe sections, and we're going to work through another one of them. Now, let's look at a... A, B, C, E, first of all. Now, for A, B, C, and E, we've got uh, three pipes. Um, 300, 600, and 800. Now, the bottleneck, the one that slows everything down, is this one here, the 300. Now, let's look at the other one, A, D, E. 
500, 150. Now the bottleneck there is the 150. That's the smallest pipe in that section. So water will only be able to flow through at 150. So that means that along this section, A, B, C, E, 300 litres a minute can get by. And along this section, 150 litres a minute can get by. Therefore, the max flow equals 300 plus 150, 450. Um, so that is the maximum flow of this flow network. Let's make things harder. So we've got the same network here, drawn here, right? But I'm going to add in an extra road or an extra pipe from D to C, and I'm going to make it 500 liters per minute, cars per hour, whatever. All right, now how does that change our calculations? Let's think about this. Um, let's start down the bottom. 500, so there's 500 liters per minute coming through this pipe, and then it gets to that, previously, it got to a bottleneck, and 150 was going through there and getting stuck. Um, so that means that 350 was like getting pushed here, but couldn't get through, right? So now that 350 can divert up to here. All right, so along the point A, D, E, uh, what happens from A, D, E? 500, 150, and uh, 150 is what comes through. Now, how else can water get to the from the source to the sink? Well, just like before, it can go A, B, C, E. It can go A, B, C, E. Now, if it goes A, B, C, E, again, it's 300, 600, 800, and the bottleneck there is the 300. But water can go one more way. It can go A, D, C, E. Now, I've done it in this order, so let's think about what happens. In A, D, C, E, 500 from there. And then you might want to say 500 here, right? But actually, 150 is going here. So while the capacity is 500, the flow would only be 350, right? Okay, now... Um, 300 is currently flowing from C to E because of this thing. So I can put that full 350 through there because if 300 is flowing through it right now, that means there's still space for 500 more. So I can add that full 350 to CE. Okay, so that means 150 litres flows through here, um, 300 litres flows through here, and 350 litres can flow through there. Adding that up, the max flow for this one is 150 plus 300 plus 350 is 800. Now, that felt complicated. And if you went through that and went, whoa, I don't know what he was doing there. Good news, there is a nice little algorithm because once these get more complicated, more complicated than that, we're in some serious trouble. So stay tuned. Next video, we're going to look for a much better algorithm for figuring out the maximum flow.